what is going on guys it's I mean Jordan here we're going to be trying to finish out well not finish went a long way but we're going to be doing another episode of heavy rain so so far this game's been copyright why oh my goodness so far this game's been pretty sad fix it later it's been the absolute depressing game ever copyright mark for the last one, so I'll do something real quick. Huh. I hate when you have to like when YouTube gives you a copyright on things, it's just like, bro, how are you supposed to play the game without the music? Like, it's not even like it's like I'm sitting here playing Beyonce or something, like, it's music from a game. Understand how else you want somebody to play a game. It's a game. <coughs> I'm gonna um, apologize in advance. Um, my allergies are literally on fire today. And it's getting a little, a little hard to do things in life. Excuse me. Alright, here we go. <coughs> so far this game's been really sad. <laughs> back. back. A wolf. A wolf's head. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh it's a crap. A crab. It's like the Grim Reaper. Death. Death. No, it wasn't death. Death. It's like the Grim Reaper to me. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. I don't understand how my child even died. Like, 
He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. Well, it we was were. an accident. He left. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Excuse me. Um. He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. <coughs> Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Yeah, tell him, tell him about the blackouts, yeah. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. Whoa. We really don't know what effect That's a shock like that That's what I'm saying, like, like the car the hit him, not, <clears throat> not the kid. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Exactly. As a parent, you would prefer to take your child's place in a situation like that. Excuse me. Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. <clears throat> How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late <coughs> again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm home. sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? I sent a child home for being late. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Do you want to eat something? What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! <clears throat> Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. I'm going. Training for astronauts, though. <laughs> okay, let's get. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. See, hey, you didn't even walk away. I Why got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Whoa. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Mm. Well, 
that sucks. How do you not know his kid hates strawberry? You want to go play on the swing? <clears throat> I'll push you. Okay. like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. Yeah, I keep him in our sight at all times. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too. Me too, Sean. Me too. <clears throat> what are you doing? Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. <laughs> Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Something in my throat. <clears> throat> One, please. That's a dollar. Dollar? That's it? My sheep. Sean looks happy. I wish I could see him like that more often. out right now. Don't you leave your child in the park. Dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. <clears throat> Doesn't he think he should discuss this with his wife? And it's not safe for him to have his child. Oh my god. So what happened to Sean? <coughs> Hold on. I'm gonna get something to drink, guys. I'm dying. Don't you just love allergy season? It's best in the world. Annoying. This guy, he's blackouts. Why must you do this? Stop! Stop! It ain't over here. You better be running back to that park. Backpack is there. <clears throat> Stop! Stop! He's 
definitely not here. I'm not pressing that button anymore. We need to go call the cops. <clears throat> His wife is gonna be pissed. Sean! Lost another child. Sean! Bro. Sean! You're losing all your kids, man. Another freaking origami in his hand. <clears throat> so sad, man. Unlocked a new bonus. I did a couple of those in Beyonce's solos. I just don't know what they were. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Okay. Now oh, these things are too cool. I'm playing some. Can we play the other games? Or we can only play this one. Fall asleep. <clears throat> I want to play something else. No. Oh, he has to play that one. That one's boring. You are time. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll you cancel ain't off all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Bro, oh, I've been waiting Captain. for you. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake Kess? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. <coughs> to be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI know. on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. 
There are hundreds of killers. How do you get dressed every day, bro? This guy if I'm sitting here tying your tie. These flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Mm. Oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, <laughs> and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Let's help you with get false accusations. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Answer. Yeah, check in on the you're press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Yeah, let's go look at the press conference. Let's see what he's talking about. I see you at it again, sis. What the heck? The body of Jeremy Bowles. Am I stuck at it? Trying to go to the press conference. Oh. Why can't I just go through the door and he went through? That's stupid. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death. I'm at what again? Going from first indication. Playing choice game? It would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go find our desk from the lady at the desk. Hey, where my desk at, lady? Okay, that's cool, but... Nice watch. <clears throat> oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sup, CJ? Yeah, whatever. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. A couple dollars in there. I'll I'll be sure to five do that, in sir. there. And where's my office, Captain lady? Perry said you could show me to my office. Yes, of course. Follow me. Okay. I should go. Why can't you just go that way, lady? Don't be difficult. <coughs> oh my goodness. I need to go take a third tech. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. This is dusty. If you need anything, you oh know what? Oh my god, I would die in there. Allergies beyond like 800. Look at all this dust just flying around. That's gross. Okay, time to work. Okay. Can I get a broom? Step one, change the office. Um, what's that one? 
species. That doesn't help much. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Mm. Well, doesn't that suck? Um, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. If he knows all this information, why does he share it with everybody? Hmm. There's nothing in the database about it. Can you turn? No? Can only go this way? Well, then that does. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Yeah, these glasses are so cool. I wish. Just one origami store in town. It's hunting Juan. Well, you don't need a store to do origami. Somebody could literally learn that. This thing is so interesting. This is the future. This is stuff that I thought we would have by now. I guess not. <clears throat> no! Bring that back. I definitely went up. Not sideways. Imagine how much easier it would be to just organize things. It says open up. Up. Okay. Eight victims had... in the last three years. Eight. Ooh. All boys, age between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. In no broad one daylight, notices though? anything. Word. How do you not? Yeah, right. Bodies Try that crap three to five days later. People pay attention to their children. Drowned. In rainwater. I can't say that. Not everybody paid attention. Because I didn't been to the park with my nephew a couple times, and I didn't see some parents on the phone, not even looking at the child play. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. You gotta pay attention. Your phone can wait. The killer Not has a large comfort zone. Other. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. I mean, it won't make it easy, but he's not really expanding his horizons on it, you know what I mean? Always the same ritual an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. But not a single lead to go on. Alright. Found everything we need to find. A man having hallucinations? Shakes? What's that blue drug he was on? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. What's wrong with you, bro? I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. 
Oh, shoot. If any of you resist what? What are you taking? It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Exit. So maybe the glasses are not good. Is everything all right, sir? Yeah, man. Where's the bathroom? Can't even read. No one. No one must see. Bro, you look so pale. You're freaking shaking. You're just tremoring. What's the matter with you? What? Can you open the door? Uh oh. Life's getting rough. Watch your face. Yeah, maybe the glasses aren't aren't the best thing for him to be using. Be tripping out like that. What's happening now? What this on top screen going on? Who's this? Oh, it's Ethan. Report and Sean missing. Can we um stop with the top side camera here? This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... I don't know. 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly, because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Um, it was beige, I guess. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. His pants were green. I know that much. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Um, I can't see anything. I, I did. I... I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Yeah, it's four hours. Um... I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? No. Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? My wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. I hate that you have but to what if wait it is the origami killer? 24 hours to find somebody. Well, then like, we have about four days bro, to find him alive. 24 hours is a long time for somebody to be missing. And then you're telling me that I, you won't do anything until 24 hours? You know, a lot can happen in those 24 hours. A lot can happen in two hours. Did they find something? It's, it's crazy. No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. 
possibility of chance that that person is alive is very do rare. They, do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Oh my gosh, she lost both her kids. She can't. How do you live like that? What happened to Ethan? I don't know, girl. How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I miss him so much. Why does she keep blaming that on us? We really did try. Nobody told him to leave our side. Like, if I tell him a thousand times, don't go anywhere. It's crowded and it's small. Then he leaves. Then he decides to go across the street. Like, what What do you want me to do, lady? There's, there's not much we can do. And I jumped in front of the car before he did. So I don't even understand how he died. I don't, I don't know. This game is... Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. How does like he know your son, Risa. I have four days before we find him in his the, body uh, on a station. deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. I'm trying. Now, please, to move along, sir. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. It's funny. Well, this chip's on the ground. Inhalers are not sold. Good evening, sir. Would you imagine Looking we use for, it something for something in particular? Else? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No. No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You can't. Hey, you! Come here! No! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make that I noise. I said come here now! Darn it. Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Hey, hold on, hold on. I'm putting them up, I'm putting them up. Chill out, bro. What's the reason with him? Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give yeah. you some fucking advice. Oh, my camera's covering his face. Um... My name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. You're an idiot. Now tell me Don't your name. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, man. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Um. 
You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? It just keeps getting closer and closer. Um. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Come on, take the deal, bro. Just walk away. Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now, give me the money. I'm gonna count to three. Ah. Get out of here, punk. Knocked him out cold. Call the popo. Take this guy out. Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Hmm. Yeah, origami? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Nice. Got some clear evidence there. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I could see now that I was wrong. Yeah, they knocked my man out cold. <laughs> out. I feel like I should be paying attention to the time and the days. So, so far we've painted as three. <gasps> Girl, I can't be scaring people like that. No more than a scare or a startle. More of a, more of a startle. Having a bad dream? Mm. You thought you slept long? You guys ever do that? Like you sleep and like you feel like you're in a deep sleep. Then when you wake up, you only slept like two, three minutes. Not even two, three minutes. You slept like ten, ten minutes, ten, twenty minutes. I've done that before. And let's get in bed. Why? Who wants to walk up and down that every day? Oh, she has stairs. Well, it's such an odd um, little house plan there. Go to bed. Yeah, spirits watching you? Okay, I guess she can't sleep. It's a nice little loft. Yeah, I guess we're getting up. Maybe she needs something to drink. Something to drink always helps. Then you can go back to bed. And yeah, what we got in here?
Okay. She don't want nothing in there. What's that? Coffee? There's something in my eye. As always. Alright. Let's go back to bed now. What does she want? Pills? Where's I the shouldn't pills take at? those damn pills again. Okay. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Alright, let's go on her computer then. Can I not use this? Here we go. Surf the web a little bit. Maybe I'll get sleepy. What was that? There's so much windows. Got a cat? Okay. I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. I think huh. you're starting to lose it. Maybe. A shower. hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. What is this door? Oh, that's a very nice bathroom. Got a little roundabout sink. Four people can brush their teeth at once. It's nice. It's a nice little... That was a very nice loft. Yep. And she goes taking those pills again. She just says she shouldn't take the pill. She has sleeping problems. Alright, let's go shower. So she'll take a shower and then maybe she'll want to go back to bed. Especially because we took sleeping pills. Oh, I didn't think they were going to show it. Why did they show the girls, but they didn't show the guy? So why are you showing her? Don't show her. What's the scene? Look away, people. Take a quick nanny shower. Move, move up. I love how they didn't think that showing a woman was as explicit as showing a man. What, girl? Should put some new underwear on. Alright, took a shower. Turn the light off. Let's go. The heck? Somebody in our house? Hello? Hello, sir. I saw you. Where are you? There's not many places he can hide. I definitely saw somebody. Saw him again. Unless she's like hallucinating. I know I definitely saw him. And she's taking pills, so maybe she can't sleep. Maybe she's just hallucinating. Mm. Yo, do a couple... Couple up and downs on that thing. Get your thighs right. Get down. Excuse me. What's happening? Oh, 
Some are definitely in the house. There's someone here. Hiding, though? There's someone in the apartment. Yeah, but the phone I mean, on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. Is it's the only way out. If I can space. reach it, I still have a chance. It's a clear open space. So how would they? I think she's hallucinating. They say once you don't sleep after a while, you start to hallucinate, which sucks, but. It is what it is, your mind is just so tired. I don't know, she's making this pretty, pretty, pretty real. Ooh. I think she didn't fall on her chin. Get out of here, bro. That throw, though. <laughs> Get off me! Oh! That's a real scream. Not a real scream. I don't know where they will be hiding. Oh! No! Oh. Bike for your right! Oh! Oh, snap. Get off me. Let's go. There <laughs> you drop people, man. Uh oh. We're stuck. Why would you run into this corner? Wow. Get off me. What do they want? Oh, money? Where did that guy come from? Oh, how I miss all those buttons. Though. No, get away from me. Word. What is that movie with J-Lo? Yeah. My husband is just the worst person in the world. He's a user and stuff. And she, ooh. She eventually came back to kill him. I forgot what that movie was called. That was a good movie though. I'll have to look it up. Why you gotta hide in the bathroom? A heartbeat though. No! How'd you get behind us? <gasps> wow! She's dreaming the whole time. She's that. Oh my god. You game. You got it, kid, at me. I mad she was dreaming the whole time, though. That sucks. <laughs> That sucks. I got a new unlocked, new bonus. Nice. Just don't know what it is. Maybe it's like at the main menu. I'm not sure. And I'm going to end it here. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow for more. See ya.